Okay, yeah. I finished shaping the fuselage. It's good enough for how much time I have left. Less than two weeks to finish this thing. Um, I got the uh, wing bolts threaded. I still need to CA them just so they're stronger, but it's a hardwood. It probably would be fine, but that'll keep the wings on. Uh, what I just did on this side and what I could reach was put this uh, lightweight spackling and I really scraped off as much as I could. And this is mainly so that the um, red house paint that I got, less of it will soak in um, so it won't get as heavy. The uh, wing is ready for me to cut the ailerons off and then I'm going to cover it with some uh, fiberglass tape and then laminate it well paint it then laminate it that's that's about ready for that to be done and I just got some more uh, peel ply and breather cloth so that I can vacuum bag the tail feathers so a little bit of work left can't wait to get some color on here hopefully it's red and not pink <laughs> All right, so spackle's dry. Shape is not perfect, but I only have so many days left to finish this thing before the event. But when it's flying in the sky, it'll look roundish. <laughs> and uh, I'm just uh, starting to lay out. I'm gonna paint where the canopy is black. Then I'm gonna paint the rest of it red. And then I'll pinstripe kind of the canopy parts with some thin vinyl so I don't have to get the lines too perfect but pretty excited to get some color down some kind of red I just got some house paint because uh, I didn't want to have any chance of it eating the foam so that is what it is we'll see what I get So I covered the uh, top and bottom of the wing with this uh, <clears throat> bi-weave tape I got from Hobby King a long time ago. Um, and then I wiped it all down with acetone to get the release agent off of there. Um, that'll make it stuff be able to stick to it better, like paint. Then I took a sanding sponge over the whole thing. Uh, and then so far I have painted... This isn't scale. If this was scale, this would be red and it would have like the arrow, but I'm just, I don't have much time left. So I just went easy on the bottom and painted it white for orientation. And then the uh, top I'll paint with the same red that I used there. This just royal flat house cayenne. Yeah, actually that worked pretty good. So moving along. Well, the nice thing about vacuum bagging flat stuff is you can just reference the table. So I just weighted it down. It'll be as flat as the table is. There's the big elevator. Just a foam board with the paper off. There's the vertical stabilizer. Pretty cool. I got the uh, plane up on here so I can start doing some decals or decals, depending on where you are. see it Royal Air Force and then I got the red white and blue circles for that UK you know design uh, getting close all right just to give you an idea of how big this thing is this is crazy Look at 
Okay, continuing my tradition now of having the biggest plane with the smallest controller at our slope soaring event. <laughs> Got it connected up to the X light and or the yeah, that's what they're called X lights. And uh, pop the hole. That's where uh, nose weights going. Lost. That's where the electronics are going. Telemetry I got lost. one big life pack for the three servos. And uh, once I get uh, the tail feathers, I can bend that and snip it. Close, getting pretty excited and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> 